Welcome to the world where we teach you real English in an easy and fun way. What is your level of English? Are you a beginner, an intermediate or advanced? Get ready because in this video you can test your level of English. It's so important to know and understand your English level because it can help you decide how to proceed with your learning journey. So give this test a try and we'd love to know if you liked it and share it with us in the comment section down below. Also, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos and our channel can continue to grow. Your support means the world to us. This is the second part of the test and it is at intermediate level. There are going to be three questions for each of the two intermediate levels, that is B1 and B2 levels. Since we are based in Europe, we are going to use the common European framework of reference known as the CEFR levels, which divides English into six different levels. We have A1 and A2, which are the beginner levels, and with A1 considered an absolute beginner. We have B1 and B2, the intermediate levels, and then C1 and C2, the advanced levels. C2 is a near native level of language. There are going to be three questions for each level. You will see the question on the screen and then you will have five seconds to give the answer. Of course, if you need more time, you can pause the video, think about the question and your answer and play it again. That's okay. Don't forget to keep count of the number of correct answers you have because we're going to need it. In addition, we will explain the grammar and vocabulary behind each question so that you know why your answer was wrong, if it was wrong. So this is not just a test, but we're going to learn a lot of things together in this video. Are you ready? The first three questions are for the B1 level, so let's start. Question 1 for B1. Choose the correct sentence. A. She is going to the store. B. She going at the store. C. She is go to the store. The correct sentence among the options is A. She is going to the store. The reason for this is that it uses the present continuous tense is going. This tense is used to describe actions happening at the present moment or near the present time. It is formed by the auxiliary verb to be plus the verb in the ing form. Also, the verb go always wants the preposition to to indicate the destination of an action. So going to the store. Question 2 for B1. Choose the correct sentence. A. Anne arrived at the party at 7. B. Anne has arrived at the party at 7. C. Anne is arrived at the party at 7. There are two tenses that students often confuse. Simple past and present perfect. Now both of them are used to talk about something that happened in the past. However, if we know exactly when something happened and if it is a finished action, we use the simple past and not the present perfect. In this case, we know exactly when this happened. We know what time Anne arrived at the party. So we should use the simple past and not the present perfect. So Anne arrived at the party at seven is correct. Question three for B1. Which one is correct? A. Did you finish your homework yet? B. Have you finished your homework yet? C. Have you got finished your homework yet? Again, this is a question of simple past or present perfect. In this case, do we know the exact time? No, we are not sure when the person finished his or her homework. So we use the present perfect have you finished your homework? Let's move to the next level. If you got at least two out of three answers right, you can move on to the questions for the next level. This means you are definitely a B1 and can attempt the B2 level. Question one for B2. 
Which sentence is correct? A. He has never been to Cape Town B. He's never gone to Cape Town C. He's gone often to Cape Town The correct sentence is A. He has never been to Cape Town So here we have to look at the difference between been and gone So been indicates that you went in the past and then you came back so now you have the memory and you have the experience gone instead indicates that you went there and you are still there so if I say my friend has been to Cape Town it means my friend went to Cape Town maybe a couple of times in the past and now he's back with us but if I say my friend has gone to Cape Town it means my friend went to Cape Town and he is still there usually with ever never already just and yet we always use the present perfect. Question 2 for B2. Complete the sentence. By the time we arrived at the cinema, the movie A already started, B had already started, C already starts, D has already started. B by the time we arrived at the cinema, the movie had already started. This is the correct answer. This is a question regarding past perfect tense, which is used to express an action that occurred before another action in the past. In this sentence, the key point is that the movie started before we arrived at the cinema, making it the action that happened earlier. So, using the past perfect tense, had already started, we indicate that the movie started before the arrival at the cinema, as it should be in this context. Question 3 for B2. Which sentence is correct? A. If you wouldn't tell me, I will leave. B. If you don't tell me, I will leave. C. If you didn't tell me, I will leave. The correct sentence is B. If you don't tell me, I will leave. This question is about the conditional sentences. In this case, we're talking about the first conditional, which we use when we talk about future situations we believe are real or possible. In first conditional sentences, the first clause is in the present simple and the second clause is in the future with will. So, if you don't tell me, I will leave. If you got at least four out of six answers right, you can move on to the questions for the next level. This means you are definitely a B2 and can attempt the C1 level. So check out our next video with the next set of questions for advanced levels. Let us know in the comments how you scored and if you found it difficult. And remember, as we say in English, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to subscribe for more real English videos. If you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember, effective communication is a journey, not a destination. Stay engaged, keep learning and we hope to see you soon in our next video.